Ah, another good one, Gordon. Say hi to the creature for me. Yeah, Sesame Street. Uh. Hey, hey, Ernie. Uh. Oh, hey, hey, Bert. Uh. Oh, who is this? I'm sorry, Mike. There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> It's called fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Another great day at Sesame Street, my home. <laughs> this is all that's left of Mike Herman Trout. Man, all this milk is going to my head. Where do you work out? The library? <laughs> the milk store. Just put me out of my misery, Walter. I can't go on anymore. Heal me, Walter. More head. Yes. <laughs> More head. <laughs> You're full of milk. <laughs> My pickaxe is called women, so if, if I killed you with that, I would have said quality quotes was built by women. Oh my god, he's got a Mike Ehrman Trout NFT now. Do me Not a favor, enough. Gordon. Take it down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm a, I'm a I have horrid it. freak now. <laughs> More than you were before? Yeah. What's with these homies sucking my dick? What's with these homies? <laughs> this is a really good burger, actually. Walter, I've become oh, fast food, Walter. <laughs> you, you, you weren't supposed to see me like this, Walter. I think I'm starting a tradition. That you'll have to figure it out yourself what's different here. I'm seeing green glass. Was that always there? Oh yeah. What, like it's being what? hotboxed? Like people are- No, no, it's, it's not inside. You, you've, you've been walking past this this whole time. <laughs> I think I'm starting a tradition where I change this thing from time to time. Head at Sesame Street. It's, it's Getting head at Sesame Street. <laughs> 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 oh god, it's like I'm actually being killed by Mike Roman Trout. Burger, burger, burger. <laughs> My hot dog came out. <laughs> oh yeah. Burger, burger, burger. My hot dog came out. <laughs> this is the most American episode of FusioCraft yet. What would be the most British head that I could generate? <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> Very succeeding. Oh yeah, Barry63. I thought you were talking about some, like, Nintendo YouTuber that I didn't know of who was British as fuck. <laughs> that sounded like... Yeah. Be up here in the sky. <gasps> oh, it's this rock! Oh, I love this rock! I'm so glad people are using it now. This is a great place to build something. I, I remember seeing it and thinking, damn, maybe... <laughs> but, like, I have too many things already on my plate. This is exactly what the founding fathers said when they <laughs> got to America. Mether. Mether? <laughs> the Mether? A resource pack that just makes the Nether Albuquerque. Mether? The Mether. Yeah. <laughs> and the zombie piglin are just, like, Jesse's and Walters and stuff. Albuquerque in, in real life is also just built right. exactly like Nether terrain. So <laughs> it makes sense. Yes! Holy shit, I'm in the game. Whoa! <laughs> this is just like Ready Player One. That's a really good spot for the portal, too. It's like it peers over the, the hillside. Man, where the head at? So I've decided it's been a pretty long streak of me just constantly working on my stuff. And I've decided for this video, I'm going to focus some other time in other areas of the world. Focus my time on other places, but right now specifically Sesame Street. I gotta give some focus to the nether hub and the spawn area because those places are really, really run down. Like, we straight up have to start over with the nether hub thanks to the reset. But the spawn area has been kind of barren and ugly for this entire time. I've been so focused on my own stuff that I've just, you know, not had the time to focus on some other quality of life things for the entire server. But since I am doing so much in Sesame Street this episode, I decided to start flushing out the kind of bridge between these two areas. Obviously the beach itself has been done for a while now, but it's just now that I'm starting to put in all the fine details what my favorite hermit scar would call the human element. So now we've got a bunch of umbrellas and beach towels. We've got a man-made structure here, an old staircase down to the beach. 
on some sturdy support pillars just like in real life. I'm bringing some mangrove leaves down. So these are my favorite leaves now. Like this is the most leafy leaf texture and I think they look really great. And so up here, I've got this path now that kind of goes over Dom House. It basically continues from the path that started right here that leads up to the nether portal and just kind of swoops around it a little and goes up the hill. It's funny how this general beach is like my main hub. This is my home and there is always new things popping up in it still. So we've opened up this new pathway, hey zombie. And now it's a cool way to go over to the Sesame Street area. This entire beach is basically like a path because it's essentially all one giant custom terraformed area and it's all lit up. And you cross through here with what is eventually, hopefully going to be the boardwalk area. And Silly Land isn't actually that much further away and the connection would not be that much harder to do. The road is already right there. It only has to go over here to the mainland. So Sesame Street could link up to the boardwalk, which could link up to the beach area, which now links up to my place. That's pretty cool. There's been talk on a few things that I could do, maybe put up some more facade type buildings like the uh, arcade, although they may or may not actually have an interior. Go away! Oh my gosh, Endermen are like my least favorite mob right now. I don't want you here. I have driven the burger truck down to Sesame Street, and now it's parked here in this park, and I don't know how it got in, because it's too wide for the gate. And it dropped like a Fortnite loot drop. <laughs> it dropped and from the That's where there's smoke signals, like, over there, <laughs> with the cocoa farm. So in order to properly fit, the back door is here now. Well, it wasn't even a back door, now it is. This area out here will be like a little outdoor dining spot. People yeah. who order burgers. And we can put some burgers and on And then maybe I will... I removed some trees here. I think I will remove all of them, actually. This will have the same facade as whatever's going oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, m maybe this is like the... I don't know... Takeout window. Where if, if you just don't want to go inside, you go here and you're like, Yeah, I'll, I'll have a pizza. And then they give it <laughs> to you and then you go. But also, this is like the main entrance where you just go in. Aw, oh, yeah. Ezo's on the nether roof, and we're starting to link our portals up there. This was something I was kind of unsure if I wanted to do. But you know what? Because we had this big reset with the nether, uh, I, I, I guess it's worth it. It's definitely easier than trying to decorate this tunnel system right beneath the nether roof. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ezo just blew up up there trying to make the hole. Okay, so apparently my portal's linked to the top now. Okay, yep, yep, here it is. A lot of shrooms, a whole lot of shrooms up here. Ooh, we blasting. We blasting up there. Down here making sure the coordinates are good. Oh boy, I've never done this before. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. Oh boy. Oh. Did it work? Did it work? No! Ooh, ah. Okay, so it turns out it wasn't working for us because we're on a paper server and there was some setting that prevented that from being able to happen. So I just set it to true that we can do it and it just worked. So now I can fly over here and see, yup, there's the hole. Now we just have to make it look pretty up there and move the rest of the portals up there. The album cover grind is for now finally over. Every single space possible along this wall has been filled with albums. Now I could technically squeeze a few more in the corners of this wall, but I, I just want to leave it as this big music disc painting. Also, I've been making banners all day and I kind of don't want to do that ever again. But yeah, just like I predicted, this is super satisfying to look at all together. It's... oh my gosh. I unironically just made an entire topster in Minecraft. <laughs> oh no. See if you can name out of them. Like, big, big shout out if you can because... Some of these are a little obscure. Some of these are kind of hard to tell what they are. I don't know. I want to make all of them easily recognizable. Oh, good lord. This is like some of the best detailing that I've done for any build ever, just because of the amount of work that was put into it. And oh my gosh, together, they look so good. In light of the nether hub moving to the roof where we're starting to form it, I've decided to turn this statue base into also the portal for town. 
And as you can see, right there is my normal portal next to my house. It's not that far away. I had a little bit of trouble setting this up because they're so close together, but I think it's worth it. When I'm running over from someone else's portal out in the world, I can choose where I want to enter my area. So you know how we're on the nether roof now? I got a little crazy and I started doing a ton of work for the nether hub. Ever since making that mini calcite cove, this has been my idea for doing the nether. So I made some maps where each pixel correlates to eight blocks in the overworld, which is the perfect translation for the nether. And I'm using these maps to essentially block by block, pixel by pixel, recreate the overworld on this nether roof. Mostly flat with a little bit of depth thanks to these sandstone slabs acting as the sand. The fact that there's no beige or tan wool color inspired that fact you know, but I feel like I kind of maybe would have wanted to do that anyways. My inventory is almost nothing but wool right now, but I want to make little miniature versions of all the bases in this little mini map. And it's interesting to me, I don't know why this is, cause you know, I did some Googling, the map thing should be completely accurate, but for whatever reason, the portals that we have linked up aren't exactly where they're located. I don't know. This, this guy right here, this represents the shack that this portal's supposed to be in. And I moved it this way a little bit so that it wouldn't link up with that portal, but I didn't move it this way, so I'm gonna have to look into that. I want it to be overlaid where it is on the map. Same with this guy, it was over here, and now that I'm kind of fleshing out where Calcite Cove is, it looks like it's still off. It needs to be somewhere over here. I don't get it. I'm dividing both of the coordinates by eight. I'm not messing it up. I don't know why it's so different from where it is on the map art. But yeah, we're gonna be working on this in the background, and I can't wait to see it super fleshed out. Like, I really wanna feel like I'm in a, just a very tiny version of the world. Taking a break from this nether hub grind, you can see that I've kind of done Calcite Cove now, almost all of it. I made my house 3D and I'm going to do the same for Calcite Cove later, but I want to see what Mike has been doing in Sesame Street. He told me that he's been working on a lot of new buildings and I want to go in blind. I have not seen anything that I'm about to see. The joy of working on the nether hub is that if at any point I want to go somewhere else to do something else, it, it's right there, you know? How you doing, Mike? What you doing in tonight's episode? I don't think I highlighted this on video yet, but uh, Charlie's Cookie Corner has expanded and now they have Charlie's Chalky Corner. The place to be if you're a cocoa guy like me. Just kidding, we fucking hate chocolate. A facade for now, but I'd love to make an interior for this considering like, Charlie's my homeboy. Here we are, this is it. Oh my gosh, it, I knew it. I was like, is that ramen? I love these sign things that he puts up here. Sesame seed noodle bar. Oh, this is awesome. Oh wow, and a little staircase up to the top floor. This is perfect use of this little space. I'm gonna say this is dope and swag. Ooh, this is new too. Oh, let me check out this. Oh man, this banner overlay. This is nice. Burger guy has a name now. Oh. Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Bob! Yes! Bob, I want your burgers. I want your burgers, Bob. This video is sponsored by the Bob's Burgers movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and in my album ground, I gave a few of Mike's favorite albums to him, and now this dude is selling albums. They're totally real, not pirated. <laughs> Soul Seek. <laughs> like Soul Seek. High quality CDs and records acquired legally. Stop asking. Oh my god. <laughs> the Daft Punk heads. Yo! So Mike in the chat just said, I was thinking of more artists that have iconic heads. <laughs> so I'm like BRB. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I just happen to have the perfect thing. Oh my gosh, we're actually putting the Kanye on. <laughs> I just got a genius idea for the Nether Hub. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah! The Fusio machine downscaled is basically just normal person sized. See, but now you know exactly where this is. <laughs> I am a freaking genius. It's almost like I built that thing just to have the gag of entering the nether and seeing the small version of it. <laughs> I, I just I just have to admire it. Like, here we are in the nether hub, you know. Load it, load it in there. Here we are in the real world. <laughs> it's so good. 
<laughs> it's so good. I'm getting a little distracted from my mission statement this video yet again. I've started working on some stuff in Calcite Cove, but I have some legitimate reasons for it. I went adventuring yesterday and I found two great things. I found a Mushroom Island that's only at like negative 2000, negative 2000. That's pretty good. So now finally my Mushroom Army begins to rise. I also found a bunch of alleys. I went to one of the pillager outposts that Mike had marked on the map that was more than 5,000 blocks away. And sure enough, now these alleys were in it. I had no idea where to put them. So I just decided that, you know what? The funny pub's gonna be haunted for a while. They're probably gonna end up in Barrel Eye Bay eventually, but I don't really have a place for them yet. So for now, this guy's gonna be pouring a lot of drinks. All I'm gonna say. I also super updated the clothing store. I'm a little ashamed to say this, but the reason is because I found a lot of leather armor while I was uh, adventuring. I've been so lazy about just crafting up all of the leather armor for all the armor stands. Lazy about dyeing them too. There's still a lot of work to be done <laughs> and I've expanded it up here a little bit. I pushed this wall forward by three blocks. I pushed this window section out by a block. I kind of just went through and I just completely rethought the design. I shaped it to be a little more interesting. I gave it some fun little details. I swapped out certain blocks. So all the oak and the jungle stuff is gone now. And now we have birch and beehive floor and it looks really nice in here. I'm thinking about replacing the wave carpet, but I think for now it's going to stay. Oh, oh, this is actually hype with the heads plug in because who knows what's going to be in here. Oh, more prismarine blocks. I've already started using some of these decorative blocks around town. <gasps> I am kind of collecting all the hermit heads too. So let me grab some emeralds because we got to put some Zuma and some stress in that, that clothing store. I'm still sticking by this is a clothing store, not a hermit store. But, you know, the hermits are just the mannequins. <laughs> it looks so funny, though. Maybe I'll throw in a random building update per video. That would be nice. Video by video, town changes for the better. This one's like an entire video, though. Ugh, that one's completely getting torn out. Izo has been online a lot recently, which makes me wonder if there's any progress on his base over here. Let's find out together. Oh? Oh, there does seem to be something over here. We got a little bit of a path started. Nice. And there he is. The Izo. Oh, I wonder. Oh, he, there he is. I thought he was AFK. Izo's gimmick right now is that he's Olimar. So these are the Pikmin. <laughs> it's so funny. What does this say? Smurst giveaway. Moy schedule. What is Smurst? <laughs> what is Smurst? About Smurst. The villager Moye. <laughs> Constantly has his headphones on. Used to be a librarian. Ezo and manager. Wears a rough nerd weed. Barbecue and grill master. Owns all the furnaces in Ezone. Gives out free stuff once in a while. Weed. Don't tell him his headphones look more like antennas. Please, he hates that. <laughs> Who is this character? New bong design. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, handsome. <laughs> Sharp knife. Whetstone. What is this? Actual human feet. <laughs> oh, this is the Pikmin thingy. <laughs> the thing that they all pop out of. Pikmin will have feet kink. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Tell me this is something <laughs> cat related. It's the litter box. Stardew Valley. It's gonna be the farm stuff. <laughs> yep. Monster. <laughs> The <laughs> floor. It's just grass. Tree. Anything red cocaine. <laughs> Google shroom. Nev. <laughs> Why am I losing my mind at this? <laughs> Sands. It's like I know what they're all gonna be, and it still makes me <laughs> weird and. <laughs> <laughs> and Google. Wait, do they have like funny names in here? There's three Endermen looking at you. <laughs> Good. Hard floor. Yeah. Pain to get. True. Aw, oh, yeah. All those random elytras that I got earlier. Finally go into a good cause. What? Do it. Am I not pressing the right button? There we go. There we go. There we go. Gift. <laughs> to start the army. Getting focused again, I'm back here in Sesame Street, and this is my apartment. I should probably put my name on it later, but I don't have the correct die and stuff, but yeah, it's 
pretty good room. I have a view down the street. We're high up. The Muppet Theater's right there. This is gonna be a great little exercise in interior design. Something I feel like I've been neglecting recently. I've been doing a bunch of big exteriors. I wanna see how cool I can make this room. But first things first, I need to put down a few posters. And I am done with the room. Look at how decorated it is. I'm a little ashamed to say. The decorating in here is so much better than my actual room back at my actual house. I'm really proud of myself with this. This is really fun little interior apartment. Loving the way that this bed came out and I love that the painting, it kind of ties the back of it together. I can't knock out any of these walls or anything. So with that limitation, I came up with some pretty fun little things. Like look at this TV. This is one of my favorite aspects of the room right here. Now usually I would have the TV kind of built into the wall but now I have this dresser that kind of, you know, surrounds the screen. And I actually really lucked out because this is the cartography table and there's only two cardinal directions that you can place this in this way. And it just so happened that the way I was gonna place it was exactly the way that it could, you know, look the way I wanted it to look, S. And of course, I had to put a little bit of coastal flair here and there, because that's my theme on the server right now. Made sure to put in a bit of quartz here and there, because, I, you know, I don't know. I guess that's kind of part of my username. <laughs> Couldn't just be Qualia. That's the only reason I added the quartz. But, you know, still, I love quartz. Yeah, I think this is really comfy. And we've definitely been benefiting a lot from the heads plugin coming back. The interior decoration game enhances so much with the heads. Like, I already had these from way before from trading with a villager, but like, man, this was a perfect time to use those as like the little pink lampshades. And so this shall be my new base of operations while I work here in Sesame Street. I just realized I'm probably going to want an ender chest somewhere. I, I guess I'll put it here. Yeah, that's perfect. I may or may not be back in Calcite Cove again. <laughs> I, I gotta stop trying to make episode themes because I'm so all over the place when it comes to Minecraft. I just go from one thing to the next. I found a wandering trader with a pumpkin head trade. So yeah, I got 64 of those. When it's October, I'm gonna fully bust them out. But for now, I'll just put them where they make the most sense. There used to be a melon here. Obviously a pumpkin makes way more sense because the dude makes pumpkin pie. What brings me to Calcite Cove today though is I wanna start putting in a bunch of the finer details that makes this feel like an actual living, breathing community. So I'm gonna be putting in benches, street lamps, trash cans, maybe fire hydrants, just all the things that you would usually see. Something about Calcite Cove as it exists right now, it, it looks great, don't get me wrong but it kind of just feels like a bunch of buildings next to each other. And this is gonna be a little bit of the glue that really makes this feel like a town and not just a collection of buildings. So without further ado, here comes the first street light in Calcite Cove. And this makes way more sense when you consider the fact that there's already street lights in Barrow Eye Bay and I only just started that, like, bruh. Where have my priorities been? This place has been around forever. Where is its street lights and stuff? I've designed this in creative already, so let me just lay these blocks down. Bam, bam. And let me get down here. Bam, bam. And it is looking great. Ugh, finally, what took me this long? That looks so good with the surroundings. And making these detail and making these details blue is only going to further cement the color scheme of the town, make it really feel solidified. I'm gonna put eight more of these down. BRB. I don't know why I just said eight because that was way too omitting. I went in here and I put in a ton of street lights. There's two street lights on every corner of Central Square alone. And then you go down over here. And wouldn't you know it, there were two spots exactly across from each other and they're now like lined up perfectly on the street. It's really tying the town together, man. I had to move this fence a little bit, but you know what? I like that I had to do that because it kind of just gives a little more energy to this fence. Instead of it just being a rectangle, now it's kind of jagged and I feel like doing that a little more to some of these fences. But yeah, the entire town just has a whole different energy now from this minor change. It's exciting to see. I'm going to keep doing this. Would you look at that? It's a hermit crab in Minecraft. Hermit crab in Minecraft. Egads, there's another. <laughs> and another by my mailbox. In case you haven't noticed, I, I love that heads plugin. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm able to do so many fun things with it. Check it out. Calcite Cove has trash cans now. We have those single barrels and we have the double barrels. You can recycle and trash stuff all in one go. And I finally, finally have a statue base that I actually like. <laughs> this is the first one that I'm actually satisfied with. It perfectly fits the town. Further cements the color scheme. It complements the crab on top. I upgraded the bench designs. I love using the polished diorite as like the cushions. They have such a cushiony quality to them, especially with the dark lines in between them. And now that I finally figured out the statue base in the middle of the park, I decided to flesh out the area in front of it now that it's also like an entryway into town. This is just as much an entrance as that. So here we are with a little welcoming circular bench. We got two benches looking out on this bozo who's kind of just drowned himself. Calcite Cove now really, really feels like a town. Shout out to when this video was supposed to be the Sesame Street video. It still kind of mostly is, and I'm going to end it with this. Whoa! This is the newest building in Sesame Street. Mike has been spending all day working on it, and it looks really good, I have to admit. This is one of my favorite builds in town now, and this is another one from a music video. It fits the town so well, and it also just has this splash of difference. Very promising development continues to go on all around the server, and I am very excited about it. This has been Qualia. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode of FusioCraft. <laughs> I'm so full of milk. And there's a building sat on Sesame Street.